Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. Um, Real Housewives of Atlanta, before I get started, hope you all had a happy Thanksgiving. If you don't celebrate Thanksgiving, then I don't know what to tell you. Another spin around the block. First, we start off with Noelle. Noelle is actually going to be the face of Cynthia Bailey's new line, which is called Cargo. Cargo is book bags, cell phone cases, laptop, um, iPad cases, all that good stuff. She said that I um, wear line that she has is doing super duper well so what it is what it is her daughter's beautiful we all know that she had a sit down talk with leon after all of this was said and done because leon came into town to actually support her and his daughter as they launched cargo leon said look i believe that you and peter rushed into this marriage y'all really didn't have time to build a marriage but i'm here with you forever don't matter i don't care who you with i'm still gonna be here Y'all know how I feel about Leon and Cynthia. Just gonna be back to go. Sheree said, look, I can't wait to Chateau Sheree is done. I'm sitting in this condo, this three bedroom condo with two teenagers. I don't know how I'm gonna make it. I'm going crazy. Newsflash, Sheree, that's how normal people live. But then she says, well, when Chateau Sheree is um, up and running, y'all will have y'all own space. Cairo said, y'all, you two got doing late for this. I'm about to leave up out of the house. Large y'all. Mama Joyce says she don't want babysit now. Um, Mama Joyce, for real though, your daughter built you a house. Now, I'm not saying just because she built you a house that you got to babysit every time that she wants you to. But you mean to tell me you don't want babysit? Then she said, I will babysit, but you got to pay me. What? What? Candy lets Mama Joyce know that Block Girlfriend stopped by. She said, oh, she did? Did she come by with an LLC? Lean, license, or cash? 50,000, that what he owe you? That's what I want to see. Kenya's having to sit down with Phaedra. She tells Phaedra, say, look, we had a real good time at the uh, mystery room challenge or whatever, but the only reason I came was because I was like, uh, Portia is going through anger management. I wanted to hear her talk about her experience because the world is a whole lot safer with Portia in anger management. Basically, uh, Phaedra told her, look, did you die? Did you see any bodies hit the flow? Well, that means that anger management is working. Phaedra goes on to tell her, look, I want to do um, a fundraiser for the victims of the flat water crisis and all that good stuff. So she said, we're going to go ahead and do a laser tag um, event with the girls. And then afterwards, we'll just pitch an idea of doing a pop-up shop. Everybody can sell their goods and then we can take the money and actually donate it to a camp which would benefit the people of Flint, Michigan. Well, the children of Flint, Michigan. Phaedra tells Sheree, look, you good for selling a picture and a t-shirt? Go ahead and do that. I said, you so shady for that one. She said, Kenya, you can go ahead and sell your um, hairline. Um, if it doesn't work on humans, it could work on pets. Kenya was like, yeah, it could work on your hair. And um, she told Candy, you can sell bedroom by Candy. Told another girl over there, you can sell your um, clothing wear. Told Portia, you can sell your neck and hairline. Portia said, so we're selling, um, Dicks for charity now? She actually said penises for charity. We're selling penises for charity, y'all. Go Flynn. Bob decides he wants to take Sheree out on a date. But instead of him taking her to one of these elegant places that she's used to, he takes her to what she called the cafeteria. It just looked like a cute little diner or something like that, but it was cute. It was a vegan restaurant. They sat there, they had conversation. She actually got Bob to apologize for all the wrongdoings he did. He said, I'm, I apologize for cheating on you, being a jerk, being an absentee father to my children. Uh, can we start afresh? Can we start anew? Look, we need some fried chicken in our lives. And they went ahead and left. We get this scene with Kenya and Sheree. They start going back and forth after the laser tag. Everybody had fun. Everybody was lighting Kenya up. I mean, everywhere you turn, they were just lighting Kenya tail up. I said, it'll hit Kenya so many times that I started to see Phaedra's butt crack. I said, come on here, Phaedra. I know you can feel that breeze. I don't see your butt crack like three times on this one little 30 second clip. But when they sitting there having this conversation, everybody else eating. But that day going, um, Kenya and Sheree, they going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth about you dumb. You call me a B. No, you call me a B. Then, here is when it got real. She said, you stupid. No, you're stupid. No, you the one stupid looking, sitting over there with that Mama Joyce wig on. What? 
Candace said, hold up, hold up. What you are not gonna do is be over here talking about my mama and her weed. She said, no, 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 I was not talking about your mama. She said, but you said my mama weed. <laughs> Kay, you wrong for that. Mama Joyce looks candy no, um, look. I'm starting to like wine, honey. You know, I like that stuff called Moscato. I said, girl, she over there drinking that Boone's Farm, that Shutter Hill. He said, but my friends tell me I don't need to be drinking that because I be reading folks when I drink that. Candace said the same thing. I said, said, you don't need wine to be reading folk. You do that anyway. So Candace said, because my mama did watch a little Ace the other day, I'm going to take her out for a manicure. And this is when all the bills get started because her telephone ring and who is it? It's Block. Block says, hey, uh, I want I want to uh, co-parent with you. Candy was like, I ain't never stopped there. And um, Riley is 14 years old. You can have a conversation with her. Started off from that. Well, y'all be blocking me. Y'all don't answer my communication. And then Mama Joy said, Hey, how you want to co-parent? You got that fifty thousand dollars? Do you got that fifty thousand? I said, Lord Jesus. Long story short, Block don't want to take responsibility for being an absentee father. He said that. They don't answer his calls, and he not chasing nobody to um, have any communication with his daughter. Newsflash block, when you're a parent, that's what you freaking do. Yes, like Sheree said, people change, but it just seems like when you want to be a part of her life, you want everybody to stop what they're doing and accommodate your little one little request. No, you need to work your way into this. This is all I got. Quick caps. I told you I'm not reviewing this show this year because they ain't giving me nothing yet. I'm sorry. Straight from the VA to Dirty Dirty South. Sua, Sujao, Hala.